Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, happy new year. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's gonna be like New Year's Day or the day after New Year's. So happy motherfucking New Year, happy 2024. Let's walk into this year just being nothing but amazing, beautiful people and all of that energy will just come right back to you 10 times more, you know what I mean? 10 times more, what you let out will come right back. But let's get into this video. I am deciding to do a little vlog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've done a few um, and yeah, we have such a great time doing vlogs so like why not just keep doing vlogs? You guys know I love my vlogs and I'm super excited to film this one. We actually have a lot of things to get done today and first things first is we're going to the mall and I'm kind of scared. I'm going to the mall by myself. I'm not scared that I'm going to the mall by myself. I'm more scared that I'm going to the mall by myself. Like, I'm not scared like, oh, someone, someone's gonna snatch me. Not that type of scared. I'm always that type of scared, but I'm more like scared like, oh damn, like I don't have my boyfriend to be telling me like, oh, you don't need that or oh, don't get it. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm really just going to the mall today to look for a New Year's outfit. Um, for tonight, we're just going to my parents' house. They're, they wanna wear all white, so it's something all white. Semi-casual, but you know, I still want my like photo op. I still wanna walk into 2024 feeling glitz and glamour. So even though I am just gonna be sitting in my parents' living room, we are gonna be cute and extra fly about it. Um, I am going to be wearing my new bag today, but I have to switch my wallets really quick. So we're gonna switch the wallets. This is my old wallet. It's a little Gucci wallet. It's actually like, there's really, there's nothing wrong with it. There's literally nothing wrong with this wallet. It's just, it's just really old. Like if it were up to me, I would have never bought myself another wallet. So I'm happy, I'm very blessed and grateful that it was a gift from my mother um, and father. But I just would have never bought a new wallet. Like there, I don't, if I don't need to replace it, I'm not going to replace it, you know what I mean? But I will happily, I will happily take a gift, you know what I mean? Like, happily. Oh, the only thing we will be taking is the Amex, the debit, my ID. I actually don't even have like my actual ID because Justice, one of the last nights we went out, um, got a little too tipsy and his wallet came out of his pocket and fell. And my I, both of my IDs were in there, my military ID and my regular ID. Ooh. Uh, my parents got a letter in the mail and it literally said Miami Police Department and my dad was like Do you want me to open this? And I was like puppy like open it like why are you scared to open it? Like do you think I did something? I'm like I'm the last person to commit a crime So I was very confident in him opening the mail like I was like just do it like who cares and he did and it just said that they have that the police station has his wallet. So this week, we're gonna have to go to the police station and get his wallet, that's a whole different situation. But I'm happy that he found it because he doesn't have a car, doesn't have IDs, doesn't have nothing. Like our Costco card was in there, like what? Okay, and also, my mom got me these Louis Vuitton earrings and I was looking through the receipt, I was looking on the receipt and they're really expensive. And they, my parents have already bought me so much stuff for the, for the holidays. And I'm just like, mom, I do not need these earrings. I would love to take them. And if you were, if you were, if it was anyone else gifting me these earrings, I would have taken them. But since it's my mother and my dad, I just like, I just feel a little guilty accepting them. I don't know if that's like wrong of me or not. I hope not. But I just don't, it's just a lot. And like, they already got me the wallet and like everything. And I'm like, I, I really appreciate the things they got me and I know that there was so much thought and effort put into this gift, but I just, I don't, I can't keep it. Like, I cannot keep it. Like, I feel so bad, I cannot keep it. But, let's go to the mall, let's see what we get into. And I'm going by myself, did I say that already? I'm going by my fucking self. I'm going by myself. I don't remember the last time I was out on the town by myself, hot girl summer. Just kidding, you guys are gonna be with me, so I'm really not gonna be by myself. Let's get into the vlog. This update on the earring situation. I literally just called my mom and I didn't know how to break it down to her. I was just like, I just broke it down to her. Cause they've gotten me, they my parents have gotten me like Chanel baguette earrings. And I, every time I wear them, I get so, like anything nice, I get super anxious about. Like even my ring that just has got me, like I wear another ring on top of it. I never wear it when I'm drinking. Like I just feel like with nice shit, I like, I have like, like, like I always feel like I'm gonna lose it like a bad feeling when I wear nice shit so and they already got me earrings but 
the point is, I called my mom and I was like, hey, I think I'm, gonna, I'm going, I'm heading towards the Louis Vuitton store. Um, I might exchange, I might change them. And she, she, you know, my mom literally is just like me. My mom completely understands like um, swapping out gifts, exchanging it, returning it. Like she doesn't take it too personal. But and then after me having to tell her, I was like, wait, maybe I don't want to get rid of them. Like maybe I just want to keep them because I also really love like anything that like family members or my loved ones give me. I love like it just means a hundred times more to me, if that makes sense. Like it means so much more like, okay, like my like my ring like justice got me this ring so obviously it's gonna be one of the only rings i wear all the time compared to all my other rings does that make sense so it's like with these earrings every time i wear them i'll think about my mom and my dad so yeah i'm not gonna return them i'm not exchanging them i'm, I'm keeping them and i'm sorry false alarm false alarm but we still gotta go to the mall we still got to figure out an outfit and i'm gonna have to hide this louis vuitton bag in my trunk um yeah i don't know what i was just going through i don't know what i was going through it doesn't matter because it's resolved i'm gonna call my father my dad actually just called me it is so hot in my car right now why is it 83 degrees is crazy yeah yeah we're cutting hey what are you doing look at me i'm driving i'm on the way to the mall right now i need to figure out an outfit okay yeah I'm, you froze no i'm I'm on my I'm on my way by myself to the mall right now. I need an outfit, but after I get back, we'll head over there. Okay, baby. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye. When I launched my brand, my parents told everybody. My parents posted on Facebook, and fun fact, funny, funny little story. I had sent my my mom like a preview link before the 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 website was launched. Like she got to see the website before I released it, like two days earlier, and she sent my website to like my aunt and my cousins and it was like two days before i launched and they were able to buy a journal and i'm like how did someone just place an order and then i'm like oh my gosh my mom sent the link so she is so cute for that so funny i called my cousin i was like how did you get that and she's like your mom sent me the link i was like oh okay so we know who the real mvps are my mother my mother and my father they're doing the big ones but i'm actually super super nervy to be out on the town by myself like i feel like before i started dating my boyfriend which was like two years two and a half years ago and i've known him i've known my boyfriend for about three and a half almost four years because we were friends for like a year and a half before we started dating so i've known him for a long time but when i first before i even started dating him or talking to him um i was super independent like i was super super independent i was always doing stuff by myself i was always out like shopping or going and running errands doing stuff like now now i can't even go and get my nails done without my boyfriend without me like oh my god what is he doing oh my god is he okay oh my god is he hungry like is he you know like me and him and, and it's reciprocated 100 percent. like he's like that with me i'm like that with him and it's nothing like toxic or like negative nothing it's just like we are in so we're so in love with each other and we're so obsessed with each other all the freaking time that we are just so tangled up together if that makes sense but today he wanted to go to the gym and like get his little things done and i was like well you know sometimes our schedules just don't align for us to go do things together so and this is one of those times and it's really rare but i i'm gonna i'm going to try to like absorb it and i'm gonna try to take this time by myself to reflect and maybe i can even surprise him with a cute little gift from the mall that'd be cute that'd be cute as shit but um my camera's actually about to die and i'm driving so i will come back to the vlog when i'm at the mall -y. okay this is very completely random but i'm in nordstrom right now mind you i have never seen this mall this crowded in my life i don't know why i decided to come new year's day i didn't think i didn't think that far but there used to be in this little in like the what are we in oh in the little in the little kid section in, in Nordstrom, they used to have like this Burberry diaper bag. And I told Justice, I was like, whenever I have a kid, um, that is the Burberry diaper bag that I want. But someone bought it. Someone bought it and it's completely gone. And I only came into Nordstrom to look at the skim section just because I really don't like buying skims online. Like I just like buying it in person. Like I've never purchased anything online from them. It's all been store bought. Um, but yeah, they don't have my size in anything, obviously, because it's freaking crowded today and everyone and their moms wear skims. But I'm seeing some dresses. I feel like... 
could do that. Could do that. <gasps> okay. to be exact and I've went to three different stores trying to find a bodysuit for it and I haven't been able to find a bodysuit so I bought a pretzel I'm hungry this is my first meal of the day and it's like four o'clock it's so loud right here oh, there's a lot I'm also like trying to find things that I could buy for my boyfriend and I have not found one thing like I, I know he has an outfit already for tonight but, like sometimes I just like to like surprise him with little things and there's, I think because it's so packed today that um, everything's just gone. Like there's nothing here. And this is a really good mall. So for there not to be nothing, like literally the entire time I'm shopping, I'm like stopping myself from, I don't know what's going on with the sighting. I'm literally just stopping myself buying certain things because I don't have any space in my apartment anymore. Like there's no space in our apartment. We need a bigger spot. And that's going to be like the next big thing that we do is probably either change apartments or like move into a house with a yard um we're for sure staying in miami if anyone's questioning that but yeah i need to start looking because i don't want to buy stuff because i have no space in my house for anything like that i'm sad that christmas is over but i'm so excited to take all the christmas shit down because i just feel so it's like way too much stuff in my apartment if that makes sense but i'm gonna eat my little pretzel and continue shopping and hopefully we get into some more shit you know the thing is, this looks like a fucking swimsuit. It, this is not good. It's giving swimsuit. Oh, I thought I was gonna eat with this. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe you're gonna like wear it. This is an epic fail. It's giving fail. This is a fail. Hold on. I have a different option that's not a bodysuit. Hold up. I this is this is scary. This is really scary. Because I've been in this mall for like three hours. But I do like the quality of this shirt, so I'm gonna buy this shirt, but I just this is not going. I think we just gotta go return the skirt and just start over. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Wow, I waited to eat. Oh wait, what did what was the where did I leave off? So I returned, so I bought a $90 skirt. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna find an outfit with it. And it, it ended up looking like a swimsuit. So I returned the skirt. And all I have right now are two white tops. And then I tried finding you stuff. You would have not, if I was literally, all the stuff that I saw for you, you would have been so mad if I bought you. You would have been like, what the fuck, Sally? Like, I felt like you were gonna exchange it, so. We got Joe and the Juice. This place is slept on. I'm gonna bust Hmm. So what did you get? Why is there a Louis Vuitton bag? I was gonna return the earrings my mom got me, but I decided not to. You don't like them? No, I love them. I just like, <laughs> I just was gonna return them. You love them, but you're gonna return them? Mm-hmm. Why? I already, I already over explained myself. Oh. Them. But I'm gonna keep them. This shit is so bomb, it's crazy. Let me get by. I'm so cold. Dresses has his shit at fucking 
two degrees in here. I don't be changing the thermostat. She swears I be thinking it. You want me to use mm. that song for this reel? Mmm. I know yours don't got no flavor. No flavor. Damn. If you go to Joan Juice, get the spicy tuna. Mm hmm Because avocado, it don't match. It doesn't match. The guy, he was like, what's your name? And then he was like, Justice, because he read my necklace. And he was just trying to talk to me about, yeah, he called me Justice. I was like, yeah, I'm Justice. I can see that for you. Justice? Mm-hmm. No, my man's name is Justice. My man's name is... Julio. You want me to use that phone for this? Sure. It's already 618. I've decided to just do my hair and makeup at my parents' house just so I could get there. Smart, because they're waiting. They yeah, because they're waiting for us. That's so rude. That's so rude. Her brother and her dad called me like, you get it? I'm gonna pack my bag. I'm gonna pack my makeup bag, pack my hair extensions. I'm probably not gonna put hair extensions in my hair. Like I just don't, like I burnt myself. Like I'm just not trying to go through that hassle again. This is bullshit, honestly. Yeah, you don't need to. No. So, so all I gotta do is put the dress on, I mean, grab the dress. Did you get hit on at the mall? Mm-mm. <laughs> I say that with a smirk. <laughs> what happened at the mall? <laughs> Nothing. I was vlogging. Nobody tried to hit on Babe, you? I'm super shy when you're not there. You better be. But um, that doesn't mean that someone didn't try to hit on you. Mm -mm. Mm. Kind of, but like, it was whack. Like, you know. Like, you didn't have no game. None of, nobody had no game. Corny, woo, tomato. You mean nobody <laughs> had no game. Dave, everybody was breaking necks. I'm so sorry. And it, it got to the point where like, it was girls too breaking their necks. <laughs> See that? <laughs> cool with the girls, but the guys ain't. Uh... My thing is, okay, hear me out. I was thinking about this. So you know when they're like, sometimes like a dude could be with their girl and they'll still look like break their neck to me, right? And I'm thinking, I'm like, and then the girl be giving, ah! stop. And then the girl be giving me mean looks because her man's looking at me. But I'm like, you know what though? I'm thinking about my boy. So I thought about you. I was like, okay. So if my boyfriend sees a pretty bitch with a nice ass walk into the store, he's looking. So I'm like, I can't even be mad at the female. It's like, <laughs> you're looking. We be looking at ass together. We do. Okay. That's the only time I'm looking. I'm just a nosy person. This one thing I've realized about myself is... I'll catch myself like... I think that's cancellation. Cancellation? You said, yeah, I'll be looking. With you. You be doing it without me. No, I'm saying like, I'm a nosy person. So whether it's a guy or a girl, I always like, for some reason, catch myself looking at someone when they're walking past. Whether it's a guy, girl, old person or not, I just be like, I don't know. I'll be trying to check temperature. Like, what's up? Like, what's happening? Like, mm. No, babe. I said, we'd be looking at girls with fat asses. And you said, yeah. You didn't say nothing about temperature or nothing. What was I You're supposed done. to say? No, you said it first. You're done. You're done. Yes, we be looking at the most enormous asses together. And that's scene. And that's why I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. But I'm going to go get my life together after we eat. Yeah, you need to hurry up so we can go. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little haul really quick, but I got to hurry up. Bodysuit? No. One's a bodysuit from Express. I tried it on, you guys saw it. I bought the bodysuit, because I like the way the bodysuit looked. And then I bought this shirt that I tried on. I really liked it. It's cute little essentials. And then all I got from Sephora is a new foundation. This is like three shades lighter than the one I have. I got a setting spray. And I wanna try the Milk Bronzer. But that's it, I didn't get anything else. This is the dress I am going to be wearing tonight. I have a few white dress options here. I just wanted something sparkly, but this one is super cute. It's super cute. Okay, okay, I just showered. I'm vlogging me, by the way. Just showered, and this is what is going into my spend the night bag at my parents' house. I got my PJs. I'm probably only gonna last. Actually, I should probably just put this on right now. I'm gonna put this on right now. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Okay, bag is packed. These are the pajamas that I'm sleeping in, and I'm just gonna change into the dress that I'm wearing once I get to my parents' house, because I still gotta do my makeup. And I'm not bringing my hair, because this is what my hair, this is the style we're going in with. 
with my hair. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Kobe! You wanna go to Grandpa's? You wanna go to Grandpa's? Grandpa's? Let's go Grandpa's. Let's go. Hey, this, like I don't even, okay. Hopefully I don't dirty my dress, but knowing me, I'm gonna dirty my dress. If we're up to me right now, it's not feeling like New Year's. I would, I'm trying to just go to sleep, honestly. That's what it's sounding like. Ooh. That's kind of whack attitude they have to go into New Year. You said it's whack? I've had a great year. That's the thing, I'm like, it's like, I've had such a, I've had such a great year that like, it's, it's the last day of the year, and I'm just tired from all the great things that have been happening, you know? Careful with your outfit, babe. Shit, 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 shit. You know what? I feel I like the drone. You don't even know how to use it. Yeah, yeah. My little brother has his. Do you really want it? For Do you want it for something? <laughs> oh no, I just sat on my dress. Probably gonna take us like an hour to get to my parents' house. Oh. Positive attitude. Good thing we're leaving now. Why are you sounding like me right now? Justice keeps saying positive attitude balls. I wonder who taught you that, mister. Okay, we got a 40 minute drive. I'm gonna realign my chakras on this on this long drive. Hopefully Justice doesn't be on his phone while he's driving the whole time. And yeah, this is gonna be a fun New Year's night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have made it. We are here. I'm gonna get situated and then I'll get back to the vlog. So this is the guest room that we stay in when we come to my mom's house. She has it so cute set up. That's me and my siblings. This is Bentley. Hi! You guys remember, if you remember Bentley, if you don't, he was a dog that we got, me and Justice together, but him and Rollo don't get along, so we keep them separate. But he's a happy boy. He's so happy, but he lives here. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready, do my hair makeup. Everybody's ready. I am taking over my mom's bathroom. Um, this guy is obsessed with me. He's absolutely obsessed with me. I'm gonna okay, guys, I am the last one to get ready. I'm, I honestly, I was rushing to pack all my stuff that I didn't even pack freaking underwear. Can you believe that I didn't pack underwear? I could believe it, it's believable. But this is kind of how I'm gonna leave my hair. I liked the way it was all day today. Yes. Yeah, see that? Okay, this is what we're going for. Cause the dress, my dress gives boobs. So you know when you have like an outfit that gives boobs, you really don't gotta give nothing else. Like if it was like a high turtleneck, I'd probably try to like my hair or something. Like I would try to make up for what I'm missing. But since this dress is giving cleavage it's okay that my hair is in a bun and also i'm just not trying to do my hair i also have this inspo and some of the inspo that i have is with like fur jackets and i actually have fun fact about me when i was younger like when i was like 17 18 i went through this era where i would like collect fur coats so i have a bunch of fur coats they're not real i'm pretty sure they're not real I've got i'm gonna try to take like a little artsy picture with a fur coat on with my dress, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But you guys know me and my inspos and my vibes, like I somehow end up being able to put it together just because of fate and because of my luck. I'm gonna show you guys if the shade matches. Hopefully it does. And then I'm gonna try to save my camera battery life because I only have one bar left and I did not bring an extra battery and the night is just beginning. Oh, and this foundation eats. Oh, this foundation is perfect. Okay, so I this is shade Fiji and nars foundation it's my new shit all right brb okay so this is what we are working with i did a fur coat because like i said i'm gonna be extra fur coat little white little dress and some heels super cute i'm obsessed with this i need to show you guys my closet collection I need to sh you just need to see it because i have like i have a blue fur coat and it's beautiful but let's let's go enjoy the festives with the family Happy New Year! Wishing many success to all of you. Ooh!
Mom, happy 2024. I'm coming for you. Coming for who? I'm coming for you. For 2024. Who? I'm coming for you. Yeah. What do you have to say to 2024? 2024, I'm still here. Like with what? Everything. What does that mean? What do you mean you're still here? Where are you gonna go? I'm what not going hell? nowhere. <laughs> Hello. It's to 2024, not to your girlfriend. Oh, 2024. Happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, let's have a great year. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Doing good. First shot after 365 days. Woo! Yeah, he dropped, he dropped his butt. Welcome back, brother. <laughs> good morning. It is officially the first day of the new year, January 1st. Um, I woke up like super, super stuffy and fluffy because um the dogs they slept we all slept together in that room and i feel like i just got a bunch of i have a what is it called a humidifier dehumidifier i we have something in the room that like what is it called that like it sucks up all the dog hair from the air and so when i don't sleep with one i'm allergic to dog hair a little bit so like i get super stuffy my eyes get super itchy so that's why i look like puffy no i did not i didn't even drink last night that's the crazy thing i just if i'm not feeling like drinking i'm not feeling like drinking and uh uh rollo these dogs my dogs beat up my parents backyard that's a whole different conversation but it is january 1st it is a beautiful freaking day look at this like that shit you see that you see all the mess <laughs> it is such a beautiful day today um i'm pretty sure we're just gonna do brunch with my parents and then go back home and start our Monday, start the new year, get into working. Um, I know for me personally, um, I'm going to lock in 100% with my brand. I'm super excited about it. There's so much to do too. Like I have um, the Valentine's Day drop coming, and I still got. And I this week I'm shooting. I'm shooting content for my journals because a lot of people want to see more details, the inside, the outside, everything. So, they'll, and I want to make the content perfect. And so this week I will be doing content for that. And then working on the journals for February. I mean, yeah, working on the journals for February. I'm going to also try to drop like some clothing, like a clothing piece, a, a, a clothing piece. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. And yeah, and then everything else to look forward to is... We're gonna keep growing on this channel. We're gonna keep growing on all the other platforms and we're just gonna keep being us and doing amazing and living life to the fullest and being happy and healthy. That's all I asked for this year. I kept asking everybody in my family last night. I was like, what are you guys asking for this year? And everybody answered, nobody asked me. So if anyone wanted to know what I am asking for out of this year, it is happiness and healthy, being happy and healthy. And that's all I've asked for since I was like eight years old, since I could even remember. So, um yeah i love you guys i can't wait to see what this year brings you guys me this channel the world life thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video um yeah look at my little doggies what are you guys doing look at this mess this these guys whenever rollo comes into town he he just chews up my parents' dog's toys. Like, I'm so su I'm surprised that one's even alive. He's probably going to grab that one right now. Rollo. Rollo. What are you doing? <gasps> no, sir. No, sir. I knew it. No, sir. He's so handsome. You heard it here so first. Happy Boy Radio. We love you.